you guys will be comment commentary. We go through your comments all throughout the week and we reply to them verbally. That's Lee Newton, that's Steve Zaragoza, that's Joe Beretta, and this is Ellie Morgan. Before ah. we get into any of that, we have a brand new Facebook banner ah, photo. What? It's Brody Romani. Brody Romani. He was at Comic-Con and he was looking for SourceFed. Did you find it? We're right here, bro. You I, find right, it? You know what? I, I, I saw it after the fact. I feel bad. You don't, after you, you don't were feel like, like you ever saw him? I don't. I never saw it. I'm sorry. I never saw him and I never it's saw that big cool place. sign. It's even I mean, sadder that only Jesus can save holy Bible. He's dressed as Ash Ketchum. Yeah, somebody stabbed him in the back with a, a, a religious sign, which is unfortunate. <laughs> it's sticking out of his back. Yeah, a lot of protesters at Comic-Con saying that Jesus doesn't like comic books. And I thought that was rude. Yeah, they're always in that same place right there, too. I was constantly amazed by the idiosyncratic things that Jesus is opposed to. I know, it's very strange. Jesus is like, I'm fine. Yeah. Just double the sign. Uh, the sign says only good. Jesus can save, but uh, I would say that Walmart can also save you bunches of money. Yeah, roll back. Ah! Rolling back. <laughs> Brought to you by Walmart. <laughs> I don't appreciate your sarcastic so, laughter. <laughs> Here are other uh, <laughs> photos on uh, Facebook. And there they were. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys say? We talk about some comments. So teen pregnancy rates plummet due to sex education. We asked you guys, tell us what kind of experience you had in your sexual education classes or uh, growing up or whatsoever. Caitlin Hickman said, Lacey Green on YouTube gives better sex ed than any high school I've ever known of. She was just she here. Just yeah, it she's did. a peach. She's a very nice she's very girl. Nice. Click yeah. the sanitation to see that video. Did you guys know she brought dildos into the office? No. Yeah, she 100% did. You missed out? You missed out? Uh, speaking of that, though, Danosaurus Rex says, in high school I had to put a condom on a carrot. Dude, I never had to do that. I always saw that on television shows and stuff. Yeah, I never had I to put saw condoms that too. On yeah. Do you guys remember in Coneheads when he chews on the condom like gum? <laughs> remember that? <laughs> like, like, like a bubble? And as a kid, I didn't quite understand nope, it. Nope, neither did I. Yeah, cool. of course not. MRFB2000 says, if you have sex, you get chlamydia and die. If you have sex, no matter what, you'll get chlamydia and die? I'm assuming. If you have sex, you will get chlamydia and die. I have... You have if sex. You have yeah. sex. It's a byproduct of sex. Chlamydia. And a byproduct of getting chlamydia is that you will die. Oh. Well, I mean, we're all going to die, so I guess he's kind of right. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Well, no. <laughs> Jordan Templeman said, Don't be silly, wrap your willy. My dad has been telling me that since I turned 10. Ha <laughs> ha. Dad, you're such a funny man. My dad would say, Put a condom on your dick, idiot. Is that how he said it? Yeah. Exactly. When I when I was in sex ed, they uh, they handed out this sheet of paper to the class because they didn't they wanted to like take the um, the temperature of the room like of the class to find out what everybody already knew yeah, so that they yeah. could base it off of that. But the way they did it was it was a, a like a diagram and you had and it was a list of the anatomical parts. And all I remember was this like teacher's assistant coming up who was like training. She walks up and she looks at my paper and she goes, hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> and then walks off and I was like okay well something's wrong on here I just remember we, like I said it was in fifth grade and we didn't know a lot and they separated the boys and the girls so the boys were in one class and the girls were in the other I remember two things oh, I remember did, seeing oh, did that, yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing the internal diagram of, of the uterus and the ovaries and the whole woman reproductive system and just going <laughs> what the fuck man <laughs> they're monsters what yeah. is this yeah. And then I remember getting really nervous and sweaty because I really had a question that I wanted to ask and nobody had oh, asked one yet. Like, I finally put it up and they're like, Jill, what do, what do you want to know? And I go, when you have sex, how do you keep from peeing inside of a vagina? Because... <laughs> I remember sex was on my mind in fifth grade, and I, that was my biggest fear in the you future when I was going to have sex. Maybe that's why they should not, wait till like, I did after. not want to pee inside of a woman. how embarrassing that would be if it was just like, oh no. Well, wouldn't Sorry. you like, what if you're the teacher and yeah, you heard that? that? Game, right? How do you, you just instantly not start pee inside I do, of a vagina? You have to give them credit because every sing, single sex ed teacher that I had was so good about the like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Well, you can't pee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of two different things. Yeah, like, so. Props probably. for asking the question, though, because yeah. I had questions. Yeah. Dude, I was like, I'm taking these to the grave with me. I'm never going to like <laughs> raise my hand in That's this amazing. class. That's yeah. amazing. I went years thinking that peeing inside the woman was sex. <laughs> it's like, that yeah, it's weird. It. That's a weird thing, too, when you're growing up and you don't quite understand the, yeah. all that. You yeah. don't know how any of that He's works. He's inside a lady and then uh, Joe, house. how do you think uh, Daddy and Mommy made you? Oh, well, I just figured you peed inside a mommy. <laughs> <laughs> it's how that works, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's not the 
idea to have a sweaty, sweaty little Joe with his little rat tail going. <laughs> Nervous and sweating. Fifth grade, did I still have the rat tail? How do you tail? not? Did you still have the rat did tail? Did you have a rat tail? He had a rat tail like, It was like up. nine inches long. No way! Yeah, yeah dude. Do yeah. we have a picture of that? I, I, I'll bring one to work. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah. I, it, it's just natural. Like, my hair grows in this... this this rat tail here, you can see that it's already kind of forming. Oh, it's so and, perfect. Uh, I was born with one that was two inches long. A little rat tail, they cut it off. It's in my baby book. Whoa, no, no way! You came out of the womb with, with a, a rat, rat tail. tail. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was white trash. You were like kids. a wilderness man from the yeah. beginning. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yep. <sighs> Did you come out with like an axe and two and like a <laughs> gun? I think you're confusing uh, rat tail being manly as opposed to just pure trash. Yeah, it's pretty trashy. <laughs> you know? uh. I Anyways, he came out with like a Milwaukee's best can. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next we should move on. Uh, a student was lost at sea for 16 hours with no boat. That's uh, your nightmare. It really is. <laughs> Add in a bunch of spiders and it is really yep. a nightmare. A boat full of spiders. Well, it, I was lost at sea for 16 hours and I did have a boat, but it was full of spiders. It was a boat of spiders. Made of spiders. That's <laughs> <laughs> the only way to survive. This poor girl, uh, her leg cramped while she was swimming in the ocean by herself at 4 a.m., which Hi. you do, I guess. She was pulled out to sea for 16 hours and so she just floated there and she survived somehow. And the question we asked you guys was, what is the craziest story of survival you've ever heard? 20Tony09 says, Some years ago, I was about 19, I was walking over to the barbershop and decided to jaywalk it across and didn't see a car coming whilst in the middle of the street, so it hit me so hard that witnesses said I literally backflipped before I hit the ground. I was knocked unconscious, but thankfully, with minor injuries, and I got a helicopter ride! Yeah. Main point, don't jaywalk kids. Yeah, don't, yeah, jaywalk. don't jaywalk kids. That's no joke. I won't now, <laughs> for sure. I used to. Yeah. Dude, backflips are life. sweet. You're a boss. Yeah. I think yep. the lesson is just look both ways before you yeah. jaywalk. Maybe if be you're a gonna jaywalk, be smart about it. <laughs> <laughs> Penny says, stabbing through my stomach lining when I slipped doing a cartwheel while swallowing three swords. That hurt. <gasps> I was sit... <laughs> Norg just walked away. I was said to be lucky. Yeah, lucky would be not getting hurt. $47,000 uh, bill. Thanks, hospital. Oh Bye, my. Norg. That seems like a fake story. Is that a real story? Bye, I really Norg. hope that's not a real story. Like, every... Every day in my life, I would probably say to a human being, it's probably not smart to swallow three swords. And then I that do person would do it wheel. because they're talented. But then he's going to, don't up your game. Yeah. yeah. Don't do a cartwheel. Yeah. Don't, don't do anything that's yeah, going to exactly. bend the torso of your body towards yeah. the blades that Come are really. Yeah. No. No. Good God. $47,000. Is that? That's how it, yeah, that's about it. Healthcare, huh? Healthcare, they got man. ripped stomach lining. Yeah. Imagine the things in your stomach. Oh. Imagine, like, the insides of your stomach just falling out into the rest You're of your body. To hurt you know though, here's the just thing. like seeping out and like no, just keep infiltrating bleeding. your yes. other <laughs> organs. Nor can't be here for the swallowing blades apparently. Uh, but we all we've done the performing thing, right? So yeah. we'll, we'll get up on stage and you know, we get we're like, "Oh yeah, we're performers or whatever." Yeah. Can you imagine the moment when you're no! like, I'm a performer, and then like halfway down, you're like, Bleh! and then you're like, didn't go well, and then you like, all right, <laughs> well, wake up and the show must go on. on. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. This is what we were born for, everybody. And for my next trick, <coughs> yep, that's blood. That's, I, I have my appendix. <laughs> I've copped up my appendix. Last comment, hope it's a good one. TM and Network Solution said, I was stranded on a mountain and my water supply was dwindling. Being oh. the being the confident I was, oh. I continued to strive forward thinking I would endure. Unfortunately, a boulder fell onto my arm. I spent 127 hours with my arm pinned down thinking about how I would go. No! I ripped my arm off to escape. No! I am James Franco. It has to stop happening. <laughs> I have to stop believing. I gotta skip to the end of all these freaking comments before I read them. I'm done. I'm not reading any more comments. You've done it too, too many times. I've invested in the story and then I'm freaking catfished at the end of it. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Biggest mirrors on mountains! Biggest mirrors? The Norwegian town of Vzgan uh, endures five months of darkness in the winter, and to combat the lack of light, they're installing three big ass mirrors, uh, sun bouncing mirrors, to <laughs> the surrounding mountains. Did you think you were gonna get me? It didn't work at all, dude. You <laughs> Oh, she got you though. You dropped the phone, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> what a moron! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what if we all sued you with our feet at the same time? <laughs> oh, I'm. It'd be really it. weird. Yeah. I'm doing Jesus. it. Oh, I'm getting. I'm getting into Danger Town. Ooh. Eww. There it is. 
I'm getting into danger, danger town. town. And we asked you guys, what's the craziest solution or project your hometown has come up with? Herb Derp 267 says, my town has life-size cow statues placed all around for no reason, really, just because they can. I got a lot to say about that kind of I stuff. I love Apparently that a lot stuff. Apparently, uh, a lot of towns do this stuff. We did our valley... It was uh, three towns, Kalispell, Whitefish, and Columbia Falls, Montana. An artist was commissioned to make 15 uh, life-size moose sculptures. And then like they were you do. just put all over the valley in businesses, um, outside of trails, on Big Mountain, which is a ski resort. And then they had local artists paint them. Oh. All different things. So some of them could have been like, almost like there was a Picasso painted on one. And then a bunch of other things. One of them was Dude, Jackson Pollock. We had the same thing with swans. And I think a lot of towns do this now. Yeah. Um, and then they get, they get auctioned off. But the thing about doing it in Montana with life-size moose is that people shoot them with shotguns. Ah! <laughs> oh, These things were taken no. out. Oh, oh my god, man. that's amazing. Yeah. Really? That's messed up. Yeah. Well, well. Is that how they feel yeah, about but... art in your hometown? <laughs> no, this is just how they feel about Moosey. we're bored. <laughs> yeah. So Wallace and Gromit says, uh, the majority of people from my hometown have Dutch heritage, so they commissioned the building <laughs> of a traditional European windmill that one would find in ye olde Netherlands. It was then shipped from Holland to Little Shoot, Wisconsin, where it sits half finished because they can't afford to finish it or something. It's pretty damn <laughs> ugly. Well, no. see, that's the kind of projects that I, I think we were we were asking about. My hometown, going back to that, is called Columbia <coughs> Falls, but there's no falls. I don't know where the name come from, came mm. from, so there's no actual waterfalls. So oh, behind one of the going. banks, they they built this really crappy oh, rock no. waterfall into a pool <laughs> that every year the local high school students. Always, without fail, fill with detergent so it just bubbles oh, up all the crazy. Best. Son then, of a bitch, is, Diane! Yeah. They've done it again! <laughs> oh, what are we gonna get them? Get the rags! So We're cleaning our, the street! That was our beautification project, but then they upped the ante and they took one of those moose and they put it in the pool. <laughs> so now there's this big brass moose in the middle of this fake rock waterfall which only runs four months out of the year. So usually it's this horrible rock Sculpture. It's just a mess. <laughs> with a cherry on top in the form of a brass moose. I love that that happened in your town. That means that there were people that planned that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they were like, we're going to do it tonight, boys. <laughs> we're going to put that moose Shut on up. that waterfall. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Just like the local CVS. She's like, hey, Tim, why are you getting 14 bucks of detergent? <laughs> hey, yeah. Tim. No reason. None of your business, Miss Maggie. Yeah. Got yeah. a lot of laundry to do? I know your mother. I know your mother. Okay. <laughs> We're going to ask her about that detergent. Right. going <laughs> to let you know. But they'd also put detergent in it with food coloring, so we get color That's bubbles. A- <laughs> oh, color bubbles. Because what? if you're going to do it, you might as well be whimsical. Was yeah. anybody ever like... Uh, no, we'd literally drive by and be like, oh, somebody bubbled the fountain. But, like, would anybody get in trouble for that? Was there any repercussions no, for doing that? No, not. Catch anybody that up. poor guy, though, the poor guy whose idea it was, he came in one day and he was like, I think I'm going to save this town. I'm going to build a fountain. Yeah. I would just like to think the sheriff was sitting by, like, with his coffee going, yep, them Thompson boys hit up the fountain again. We'd go after him, but we just don't got time. The Wild West. I <laughs> know. There was a black bear sight, and we gotta go check that out. <laughs> Four more mooses were shot. It was the stone ones, though. But so first, it's I'm okay. gonna finish this delicious hash brown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for joining us for comment and commentary. This was a lot of fun, and also just a fun trivia fact. This is the very last time we are ever going to be sitting on this couch together, uh, discussing with you about your comments. We are going to retire this couch, and when we say retire, we go- we are gonna destroy it. Yeah. It's going to be uh, decimated. We're not gonna tell you how, no. but it is going to be not. It'll be anymore. overkill. Overkill. <laughs> Guys, can we name it before we get rid of it? I don't want to get too attached. Let's yeah. call it Kami. I want to call it Kami. You want to call Kami? it Kami? Kami, the com com couch. <laughs> the Kami, the communist com com couch. Kami, the communist com com couch. <laughs> I like it. I don't like anyone from Russia sitting here. And stay tuned this weekend because we also have Truth or Dare coming at you as well as bloopers <laughs> on Sunday. And what then... you doing over on the nerds? All sorts of cool shit. Like Meg and Trisha are off to see the Wolverine movie where they go to <gasps> Japan. Uh... I hope it's good. I have no hope. Maybe it'll be amazing. Maybe well, like... I'm going to have zero expectations. Yeah. And hopefully yeah. that'll help. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, and also, on the weekend, we're watching Confessions of a Dangerous Mind on Movie Club. Sam Rockwell is the best actor ever. Mm-hmm. He's, the best, he's also a good dancer. Yeah. I was down. Kiss him. 
I'd like to meet him at least. Yeah, gosh. I bet you so down to earth and perfect. Also, we have bloopers on our <laughs> channel. <laughs> on the Nerd Channel, you can check those out. Uh, yeah, so we got yeah, a bunch of content it. this weekend. Stick with it. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. We're also going to be doing VidCon next week, and we're super excited. Hopefully, we see you there. Oh, oh maybe yep, you don't have a ticket. Maybe oh. you want a ticket. Maybe you should click on the link in the description, fill out the form that is attached right. to said link, and then we're going to look at that form. And if we like your stuff, and your name is pretty, and it's uh, attractive to us, we will pick you, and yeah. you can come Hang out with us pass. at VidCon. It'll be yeah. great. Yeah. Give us all hugs and kisses. Yeah. And yep. you can come It'll to our hotel good. room and it's hang out. We can get okay. by to eat. There's some boundaries issues, but we'll figure them out. Yeah. Hey. Mm. <laughs> okay. uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching mm. uh, Common Commentary. And we love you guys. Well, thanks, thanks, guys. See you later. Thank you. What's the most epic way we can take this video out? <laughs> Timpani. Yeah, don't know where they are. <laughs> <laughs>